So after the battle on the bridge in the previous episode, Silco finds Jinx all beaten up, all bruised and everything, about to die. And Silco is doing everything he can to try and keep her alive. I mentioned in my previous review that I am interested to see what they do with the character Silco from now on. Because I'm really enjoying him as a villain. He is menacing. He is dangerous. I understand the motivations. But it seems like now I am starting to absolutely love him. Like really love him as a character. Because now it seems like not only does he want to keep V alive. Not just because he she's useful. But because he actually is starting to think of her as a daughter. Which could help explain a lot of the decisions that he's making. And why some of the other gang members that are with him are, are very much against him trusting Powder or Jinx. Because he actually cares about her. He actually kind of sees her as his daughter. And it creates a lot more tension with the character and his situations now. Whether or not what he does now is worth losing Jinx for. I just love that aspect of the episode. And it very much enhanced the character for me of Silco. And it is becoming... Possibly one of my favorite villains of all time. He is that compelling now to me. I just hope that his conclusion, if he ever gets one here, is just as powerful. And the characters of V and Caitlin are now meeting with the council members. They say that they know what the villain is planning, but the council members are making decisions that V is not very much happy with. Like, they're standing by once again while she has to do the dirty work. And she abandons Caitlyn in the long run and try to go off and solve everything by herself. But with the help of Jace, who also is reluctant to the council, just holding back. And so they both team up together to go to the underworld and try to fight the villains themselves. Unfortunately, it cost the life of a kid. And Jace is very much unsure what he's doing is right. Because he's just killing more people and that is not something that he wants to do. I love how the episode, despite making it seem like these two are going to be like great duo because of the same ideals they are both striving towards the same goal for different reasons and so because of that they don't end up being a good match for one another and it just shows just how much Caitlyn and V are that good of a duo because both of them are striving for the same goal and both of them are starting to strive for sort of the same reasons. And it's sort of because they care for one another. I really enjoyed this episode and what it means for the characters here. It is certainly one of my favorites because of how it portrayed Silco here. And how much they're enhancing him as a character. Just overall, we're getting close to the finale. And my god, I cannot wait. I'm scared that's going to suck, but... I cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.